tracking on off to the northeast. By this time tomorrow, it'll be in the Gulf of Maine. But still, we've got some heavy snows back behind it around uh, Philadelphia, reporting rain right now. But as we uh, cool down the lower levels, that freezing rain continuing through northern uh, New Jersey and also Philadelphia, you could get some more icing before this is all over. The satellite picture will show us basically the back edge of the storm uh, through West Virginia and around western Pennsylvania. Uh, right now around Pittsburgh, the snow is pretty much ended after a heavy burst of snow and a quarter of a mile visibility. The storm is quickly moving on out to the east, as you can tell uh, by the satellite picture. So a lot of that ending now in uh, Pittsburgh and around Youngstown, Ohio. All right, the temperatures are cold. We've got a very cold snow falling, 14 in Albany, 13 in Rochester, still 32 in New York, and still we've got some sleet and snow mixed in there with it. Rains right now for Philadelphia, and uh, if you head around to the New York metro area out to Long Island, still raining, but we will start to see that snow edging further southward as the day progresses. Hartford, Connecticut reporting snow right now, uh, still around the coastal areas, around New Bedford, uh, that's all rain. So basically our rain snow line will kind of be from the coastal areas and uh, on up through this area here, northern New Jersey, significant icing. So be careful if you're out on the roads today. All of that continuing, and as the temperatures drop, many other areas that are rain right now, we'll see a little bit of freezing rain or freezing drizzle, and then turn on over to snow. Notice the dry spot moving in here, though, around Baltimore and D.C. By the time your temperatures get cold enough uh, to get snow, uh, pretty dry air will move in. So you might see a little bit of snow in this area, but for the most part, uh, not the case. Around Boston, you're only about three and a half inches away from breaking your all-time seasonal snowfall record with the snow continuing there. Pretty moderate snow, so we'll probably see another record broken before this storm is all said and done. Well, with a look at the forecast, I'm going to throw it to the studio to Dennis. He'll tell us about uh, the cold weather heading on into the south. Dennis? Indeed, Janine, it looks like it's already starting to establish itself well on towards the south and east. In fact, here's what we have for the current map, still displaying, as you described, that stormy system in the eastern seaboard with rain and thunderstorms down along the Grand Strand while snow continues, including where they're having a big primary today in New York State. So it looks like the nasties continue. Wanted to point out the temperature difference. Look at this in the last 24 hours. In some cases, almost dropping 50 degrees. Look at that, 46 degrees colder in Jackson, Mississippi than it was yesterday at this time. Markedly cooler in Nashville and moving on up into Charleston. 35 degrees colder than it was yesterday at this time as the numbers right now still reflect that bitter cold sliding southbound just when you thought it was safe to get outside and get some uh, yard work done. You're gonna root awakening. Single digits, teens, 20s, 27 at Nashville, 44 in Atlanta, 75 in Tampa. You get a feel where that front is right now. Let's see where it's headed, though. It will be driving across Florida. Oh, by the, the way. rain snow line through here. We're still seeing uh, rain and freezing rain through northern New Jersey, not into southeast Pennsylvania around Philadelphia. Most of that's rain right now, but uh, still some uh, very significant icing in northern New Jersey. Around New York City right now, we're still getting rain with some sleet pellets in there, but northward towards Albany, uh, that's all snow. Moderate snow at that with a very cold temperature. And our own Mark Mancuso standing by in Albany. I see it snowing there. Mark, how's it going? Well, as you can see, we are deep in the heart of a snowstorm here in Albany, New York. Uh, since we last met, the snow has intensified, and we've been doing some driving around the Capital District, and we know that the roadways are very slick and hazardous. We've been talking with the DOT, also with the state police, and the National Weather Service, and the same story comes by to, from all of these people, is that if you don't have to drive today around the Capital District, don't. There have been reports of uh, several accidents around the area, as you would expect. And, of course, today being the big primary day, it looks like that the, the voter turnout here will be affected with this snow. We've had reports from the thruway that travel is slick and hazardous. There's been freezing rain and snow as you travel south down to New York City. So it's just not a good day to be out in the roads. As we were talking, the snow has continued to come on down. And as we take a look here, you can see that the snow has been accumulating. Oh, it looks like about four to five inches now, and the snow is forecast to continue to intensify throughout the nighttime hours. Conditions are just getting terrible right now, and they should be horrific tonight. So if, if we do advise, if you do have to vote, you want to vote, do it early because conditions will just get worse tonight. Heavy snow should continue right through the midnight hour, and when all is said and done, we'll probably see about 10 to 15 inches here in the Capital District. Thank you very much, Mark. We'll be uh, checking back with you later. Well, uh, as it looks right now, uh, we're also seeing heavy snow in many other areas, but we'll take you back to the map, show you the satellite picture. One place that got a big burst of heavy snow, but now it's pretty quiet, is 
Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. You see right now the back edge of the clouds moving on out towards uh, the east now and so the heavy snow is really continuing around where Mark is and central New York and on into uh, the Boston area actually experiencing moderate snow right now. I'll show you the temperatures and uh, we've got some cold air here. 14 degrees right now in Rochester. It's 15 in Erie. You factor in the wind which is very gusty out of the north or the northwest and we have a wind chill reading of minus 13 in Rochester and right where uh, Mark Mancuso is it feels like 2 degrees. Well also Jeff Morrow is standing by in summer set uh, Pennsylvania and I understand it's snowing pretty good there too right Jeff that's right Janine we have a, a fair amount of snow it's been snowing ever since we got here about an hour and a half or so ago uh, more snow here definitely than what we saw in Pittsburgh this morning Pittsburgh where we were was between one maybe an inch and a half up here we have between three and four inches of snow you were just talking about the cold temperatures and the cold wind chills well, we're definitely feeling that up here, too, for March the 7th. This is a very, very wintry day in south-central Pennsylvania. That's the Pennsylvania Turnpike behind me here, uh, otherwise known as Interstate 76. And you can see that it's still fairly clear. I expect that uh, is because of the uh, highness of the sun angle still kind of melting things. Plus, this is a well-salted, well-sanded road. But as the sun gets lower in the sky and the snow continues to come down late this afternoon and evening, it'll probably start accumulating even on the turnpike itself. So uh, that's pretty much the scene here. We're definitely still very much in the grip of wintertime, Janine. All right, Jeff. We thank you very much, and we'll be checking back with you a little bit later. Okay. Okay, also, uh, we're looking at uh, moderate snows in Boston with a half-mile visibility at this point. Boston, you're only three and a half or so inches away from breaking your all-time seasonal snowfall record uh, that was set back in the 93-94 season. Right now, some pretty moderate snows throughout the area. You can see it on the radar. They're moving through there with the darker and deeper green colors. Also around Hartford, some pretty moderate snow. But our rain snow line basically cuts through Cape Cod, south of Providence, right along around New Haven and uh, uh, Connecticut, around Bridgeport. That's all rain. Also on New York City and around Long Island, that's going to be rain as well. So that will continue to fall. And as we get the colder temperatures out towards coastal Connecticut, that will probably change on over to snow. Again, before it's all said and done, we think uh, upwards of six inches through many areas of northern, southern New England, back in through central portions of Pennsylvania, and many areas closer to 12 inches. Well, another facet of the storm, of course, is the severe weather we've been seeing breaking out in the south and east. Our cold front pushing now right on through Tallahassee, Florida, and still some pretty strong thunderstorms breaking out ahead of our front. I want you to notice one thing. Look at the snow back behind it. Our disturbance passing on through Mississippi into Alabama. Huntsville reporting a few flurries also around Laurel, Mississippi. A few flurries mixed in with rain all the way down to Macomb. Actually, some snow is on in there. That will continue as this frontal system presses on through. Many areas reporting wind and hail down. Since Where Mark is in Albany through Burlington, uh, Concord, New Hampshire, Portland, Bangor, Par Har Bar Harbor, and moving up to Holton, Maine. Looks like it's going to be piling up in some cases up to a foot of snow. Cold and dry in the southeast. That front will graze right on down past the Keys and the Florida Straits around Cuba and look for some more rain there. Big dome of high pressure will keep things high and dry for a while. Looks like the rain that we're going to squeeze out of the rest of the system in the southeast may add up to one to three inches. Snow anywhere from the Cascades, snow in the Appalachians, look at this white shaded area, six to 12 inches in anywhere from Pennsylvania all the way up into central areas of New England. Temperatures, they're making a nosedive. The sub-zero readings all the way down to Kansas City and Wichita. Are you ready for that? You thought spring was around the corner, didn't you? Mm -mm. 20s, 30s, 40s, lay right up against the Rockies and gradually erode that away. Uh, starting to warm on up in the 70s and 80s across the plains, eventually tracking eastward. But this is going to be a slow one to move out. Teens and 20s around the Great Lakes in the northeast, they were starting to warm things up again. But 70s on Sunday, maybe some 80s in the western high plains, and the 30s and 40s lifting off towards the northeast. So that cold shot coming in, sticking around for a couple of days, then headed out. Dry over much of the country, but showers Seattle and north of the Bay Area. Flurries around the northern uh, Great Lakes, and once again windy with a few showers uh, behind that front into Miami and Orlando, maybe Fort Myers. Dry on Sunday into Monday. Again, some more rain, Seattle down to the uh, Bay Area, and breezy and a few showers all the way down into Florida. So make your plans accordingly through your weekend. Our next stop will check on those wind chill values and see how low it will go. Bundle up and stay tuned.
How many lotions have you tried? About a million lotions. Until I tried Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion. Why Jergens? It works with your skin, not just on it. It penetrates to heal dry skin from within. I love the way it makes my skin feel. Ultra Healing Lotion, another beautiful idea from today's Jergens. Nobody does it like you. The new Hoover Steam Back to Life. Nobody does it like you. The new Hoover Steam Back Deluxe with five brush agitator. Compared to professionals, there's no comparison. Nobody does it like you.